No one the MAGA supporters are leaving you know whose rallies early. Oh. Well, you know, it, when it came up, oh. you know, she said this was happening. And yeah. last night's campaign stop in Pennsylvania was full of the same old racist, misogynistic crap. <laughs> He's attacking legal Haitian immigrants, legal Haitian mm-hmm. immigrants, Vice President Harris and President Biden. But why take my word for it? Take a look. She's worse than him. I'm telling you, watch. She's not as smart as him. He's not smart. He never was smart. But she is a very dumb person. Do you think Springfield will ever be the same? I don't think. The fact is, and I'll say it now, you have to get him the hell out. You have to get him out. I'm sorry. And make this statement to the great women of our country. You will be protected and I will be your protector. Women will be happy, healthy, confident, and free. You will no longer be thinking about abortion. It's all they talk about, abortion. Oh, Oh, nauseating. I just want to play one more thing because I think we need to just continue to play this to remind people. Can you play it for me, please? The fact that I was able to terminate Roe v. Wade after 50 years of trying. They worked for 50 years. I've never seen anything like it. They worked, and I was even, I was so honored to have done it. Yeah, you're not protecting me. Right. I don't know what you talk about. You know, <laughs> you, she really rattled you, didn't she? Yeah, she, did. she, she did. has. He is you are. Off. He is. He's losing his. Well, well, he's also running for the highest office in the free world to have the most power. And these are serious times. We have two wars abroad. We're seeing alarming rollback in women's reproductive health. We we do have an immigration system that needs to be fixed. Yeah, now, but that has nothing to do with the. Legal. No, no, no. But I'm saying, like, these are some serious things we have to deal with. And now more than ever, we need a serious leader. His best retort is, you're dumb. (laughs) I haven't heard that since second grade, one. (laughs) And two, and then when it comes to his plan on immigration and highlighting the issue, he is... He's shopping conspiracy theories. The Mm -hmm. governor of Ohio, a Republican Trump supporter, the mayor of Springfield, Mm -hmm. also a Republican, are begging the Trump campaign to stop what they're doing. What he's doing is putting a deeper strain on that town Mm -hmm. for security threats. So I just you can we cannot have a leader. We cannot elect a leader that believes facts are optional Mm -hmm. and that stokes fear and hate every single time he opens his mouth. I'd like to back um, uh, you uh, talk about your point Sarah. about the dumb comment. Yes. Right? Because we all know that the female <laughs> vote is the albatross mm-hmm. around his neck, right? He has problems getting women uh, to vote for him. And the framing of his attacks are important. When he attacked Hillary Clinton, a female opponent, he called her unstable. He said that she lacked judgment, temperament, and moral character. But when he attacks Vice President Harris, he attacks her intelligence. He says she has a low IQ. She says he says she's dumb and that she lacks mental capacity, notwithstanding the fact that black women are the most educated demographic in the country. Um, It's also just a racist trope that's used against successful black women in terms of intelligence. And what people need to understand is this trope goes back to studies that were done to show that black people were somehow less intelligent than white people to enforce the subjugation of another human being. The notion that black people weren't sm- Furthermore, looking at Harris, <laughs> uh, the, everybody's talking about this particular situation. Harris is that woman that wants to make a better name, according to Hopi, for the American people, especially for the women, to give the women their right. Because almost half the population is made of women. Is that one that want to give women safe rights, want to make them proud? You have people like Bo- Joe Manchin, who is in criticizing Harris for that, who say he cannot even endorse Harris because Harris want to make women um, make women powerful. Basically, a woman have the right of their own body. Harris want to make that availability. What Budget Twenty Twenty Five is talking about. If you have a battle abortion, 
the woman should decide to commit the abortion or not is their body. Even in case of scenarios, so people talk about religion, which is good. But in case of a scenario that a woman is sick, let me say a topic pregnancy, then the abortion will be removed. They talk about a case that the fetus have died in the woman's belly. If they don't do that abortion, the woman might die. So a lot of things are happening. So they cannot do that according to uh, Harris. A woman has the right. That birth control pills. If you don't have money, you say, I want to have the two children. You take your pills and control it. Then what the Project 2025 is saying that you cannot take no pills. You have to have 20 children, 15 children. Because we all tend to the welfare and we're begging the government for money. Harris want to empower women. Harris want women. If you have so many children, how will you grow? You cannot even achieve your potential. So Harris want to put women in that place that they have their own right. They have their own, make their own decision. They have their, they can say what they want. You don't rely on depend on nobody for anything. Basically, what do you think about all this? Harris also went about and talked. The woman in the views were very grateful for what Harris is doing. They talk about the um, IV. Many children have been given birth out of IVs. Some people were not privileged to have children naturally. And IVF is there. And IVF have enabled many people who cannot become parents to be parents. And many people could not become, um, who could not even have that joy, that peace. Do you know how many people, their husband left them for another woman because they could not have children? Especially my community where I come from. If you don't have a child, it's like you are not a woman enough. If you cannot give children for your husband, it means you are not fulfilling your marital duty. A child is like you fulfilling. So if you cannot have a child naturally, then there's IVF. Most, most people have their joy out of the IVF. So these are women were fighting and Harris come to fight because Donald Trump is trying to implement those rights according to the women in the view. So they want women to go out, OPC, go out and food, decide what you want. You want somebody that will control your body system. Women have been controlled for a very long time. It took many people to fight this come to establishment. And some other people are trying to pull it away. So actually, what do you think? Can I see your opinion in the comment section? Thank you very much for watching. I'm not subscribed. Please subscribe and share the video. God bless you.